Hola students, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're still focused on la hora, telling the time in Spanish. Para esta clase, for this class, our focus will be on stating minutes after the hour or past the hour in Spanish. Entonces, therefore, our focus will be on this half of the clock. 5 minutes past, 10 minutes past, quarter past, 20 past, 25 minutes past, and half past the hour. So when it's pointing on the 1, it's 5 minutes after. On the 2, 10 minutes after. On the 3, that would be quarter past, or 15 minutes after. On the 4, that would be 20 past. If it's pointing on the 5, that means that it is 25 minutes after the hour. And if it's pointing on the 6, that means that it is half past the hour. Or you could say 30 minutes after the hour. Now before we go to the Spanish, I want us to just practice a bit in English first. Now remember we said in the previous class that the hour hand is the short hand and it tells us the hour we are dealing with. And the long hand, that is the minute hand. So that tells us the number of minutes. So looking on this clock, we realize that the short hand, which is the hour hand, is pointing on the 3. So we therefore know that we are dealing with the hour of 3. If we look carefully, we also realize that the long hand, the minute hand, is also pointing on the 3. Remember we said that when it's pointing on the 3, that means that it is quarter past, or 15 minutes after the hour. So this clock is showing 3.15 or quarter past 3. Let's do the same with this clock. Notice that the short hand, which is the hour hand, it's pointing on the 3. So we are once again dealing with the hour of 3. On the other hand, this time, the long hand, which is the minute hand, it's pointing on the 1. And remember we said that when the minute hand is pointing on the 1, that means that it is 5 minutes past. Therefore, it is 3.05 or 5 minutes after 3. To express minutes after the hour in Spanish, we use E followed by the number of minutes after the hour. So let us compare both clocks, the one in English and the one in Spanish. Notice 5 past is 5, 10 past is 10, quarter past or 15 minutes after is cuarto, 20 minutes after or 20 minutes past is 20, 25 minutes after is 25, and half past would be is media. Entonces, estudiantes, therefore students, to express minutes after the hour in Spanish, all you really need is the E followed by the number of minutes after. So let us do some examples together. Now, you already know how to state the exact hour in Spanish, which is son las, and then you put the hour that you are talking about. Do you remember? But don't you remember? Alright, so you already know that. So all we're going to do now is to add E followed by the number of minutes after that particular hour. So all you need is son las, you put the hour that you're talking about, then you put E followed by the number of minutes after the hour. So remember, all you need is son las, then you put the hour that you're talking about, then you put E followed by the number of minutes after. So let us try 2.20 p.m or 20 minutes past 2, 20 minutes after 2, what do you think the answer is? Hmm. So you're going to put son las, and then you put the hour that you're talking about, then you put e followed by the number of minutes after the hour. So the answer would be son las dos y veinte de la tarde. So let us look on how we got this answer. Remember, to state the minutes after the hour, all you need is son las, followed by the hour that you're talking about, followed by e, and the number of minutes after. So in this case, we are talking about 2.20, 20 minutes after 2. So we have son las, and we're dealing with the hour of 2, so we would put dos. So that's how we got son las dos. But it doesn't stop there. Remember, we want to say that it is 2.20, 20 minutes after 2. So, the next step would be for us to put E followed by the number of minutes after. So, we put the E. And how many minutes after 2 is it? 20. So, that would be 20. So, that is why the full sentence is Son las dos y 20 de la tarde. 
Let's try 6.05 or 5 minutes after 6, 5 minutes past 6, whichever way you want to say it or to express it. Remember all you need is sunlass, then you put the hour you're talking about, e and the minutes after. So we would start off by writing sunlass and then we're going to put the hour we're dealing with. In this example we're talking about 6, so we have sunlass 6. And then we're going to add the number of minutes it is after 6. In this example, it is 5 minutes after, so we would add e cinco. Try this one for yourself. How would you say it is 10 minutes after 3? Remember, all you need is sunlass. Then you put the hour that you're talking about, e, and the number of minutes after the hour. If you said son las tres y diez de la mañana for your answer, then you are correct. So we wrote son las and then we placed the hour that we were dealing with. In this example, it is three, so we wrote son las tres. Next up, we should put the number of minutes after, and it is ten minutes after, so we put y diez. Son las tres y diez, and it is a.m., so we added de la mañana. So just remember students, to talk about or to state the number of minutes after the hour in Spanish, all you need is son las, then you put the hour, followed by e and the number of minutes after. But remember we said that for 1 o'clock we don't use son las. So instead of son las, followed by e and the number of minutes after, for 1 o'clock we would use es la una, followed by the number of minutes after. So, so it would be es la una e whichever number of minutes it is. But that's it for today's students. Just remember, minutes after the hour, son las, you put the hour, e, the number of minutes after. For one o'clock, we use es la una, e, the number of minutes after. Adios, muchachos. Adios, adios, nuestra clase terminó. Adios, adios, nuestra clase terminó.